Hi everyone at Unique Kids, uh, welcome to the fourth Easter craft um, art with Holly session. Uh, we'll just give it a few more minutes and then I think we'll get started. Um, as soon as you're in, please message in the comment section on the bottom left hand corner if that's okay, just to let me know that you're in. Um, and I hope you've all got your materials ready as well. Um, I did put some little squares on social media this morning and yesterday about what craft we'll be doing, what materi materials you'll need. Um, so I hope you all got that. And I put it in our Art with Holly group on Facebook as well. Um, today's workshop obviously is running today instead of tomorrow due to um, me having a meeting. So that is just for this week though. So any other changes in the next few weeks, I will be letting you know as usual, either messaging on private or um, on social media. Um, these Easter craft sessions will run until the end of April and then we'll be, start, we'll be starting on a new and exciting project at the start of May. Now I'll reveal more info about that nearer the time, I think, um, that might be best. Now I'm just going to start by showing you a few of our Easter things that we've made so far before we get started on today's craft. Right, so I've got them in my sketchbook here. <laughs> so the first session we made some Easter chick kind of fork paintings using different mark making techniques, different objects. I think we use like nail brushes which works really well. And then we've got these from last week, uh, no the week before sorry, where we made some sponge um, painting and mark making Easter eggs which worked out really well. And then the favourite Easter craft session, I think, for me, was last week's where we made these hanging bunny rabbit and Easter chick kind of decorations uh, using coloured cards, it's a different cards, different tissue paper colours, um, and we made some really cool designs which you can then obviously attach ribbon to and then hang up around the house. And I know that you all enjoy that as well. And thank you very much to Faye and Amanda for sending in any images that you had. That is, that's brilliant. Now, materials wise for today, we've got two crafts today. So we're doing some painted Easter eggs, which should be quite fun. And then we're also doing some bunny rabbit cones. Now, I think we're going to start with the Easter eggs for the first half of the session. Now, I did mention, obviously, paints, brushes, um, and I did say if you do have any plastic uh, like or foam kind of Easter eggs, then uh, we can use those. I don't, actually. So what I've done is I've got some masking tape, and then I've got some white paper and some white card, and I've also got some bubble wrap. Now, what I was thinking is we could make some scrunched-up Easter egg balls, and pack them using masking tape. So I'm just going to get my first sheet of A4 uh, white paper. I'm just going to roll it off into something like this. And I'm going to make about five or six of these kind of um, circular kind of balls. And obviously the more you scrunch them up, the tighter the tighter they are. So we're going to make about five or six of these. Now what I've also got for the craft as well today is I've got um, a little kind of recycled cardboard tray that I'm going to use for my Easter eggs to put in. And I've also for my uh, bunny rabbit cones, I was also thinking what we could do is make a little garden to put them in. So I've just got the lid from a... Um, chocolate box now what you can also do is think about you know we all have easter eggs at easter i got a few last week what could you make that what could you make from those you know you could use the packaging to make some different things some different crafts and you could even use packaging in today's craft really uh something like a lid uh to hold the bunny rabbit cones so i'll talk more about that in the next bit of the workshop though. I've noticed a few of you are um, still getting in, so when, once you're in, you know, if you'd like, just message in the comments section on the bottom left-hand corner, just so I know who we've got and who's joining us, and maybe even what materials you're working with today. 
you know, I mentioned um, using coloured pens. I've also got some googly eyes and some ribbon. So it's really up to you as to where you take this craft. Because we're making the bunny rabbit cones and I'm thinking about putting them in the garden. Whereas you might want to make some hanging ones. You know, you might have enjoyed last week's workshop so much that you want to make some more hanging decorations. And you could obviously make a, make a hole and um, thread some ribbon through today's craft as well. I do. I'm just doing enough to let them sit nicely in here. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to do one more. These are our um, Easter eggs. So if I, I'll just show you what they look like. And I've packed them nicely in here. So we're, I'm going to paint them all different colours. This is really the first thing. Now you can either do collage or you can use colour pens. And you can use paints and the same for the bunny rabbit the the bunny rabbit cones really now this is a fairly quick one because we really want to spend most of our time on the bunny rabbit cones there that they're the ones that will take the most time up i think uh but what i'm gonna do to start with is just get my brush our brushes and then just hold these up and i'm gonna start painting them but i think first what we should do is maybe Use a little bit of masking tape or cell tape just to hold areas together nicely. So maybe just one one, one piece of tape for for each of our um, scrunched up circles or scrunched up paper balls. There we are. So just sealing the join where um, where we've wrapped over. So what right, another three of those. So again, depending on. The size of your container you can use as many as you want now this was only a, a really quick idea this morning that i had you know using um things like chocolate box lids and stuff to hold our craft because i thought you know the bunny rabbit cones are rather delicate and we'd like something to hold them in so maybe some sort of recycled packaging that you've got lying around the house could be could be useful for this craft so maybe you want to go and have a look for something quickly now then that is totally okay now what I'm going to do is I've cell taped them all, well masking tape them all. So I've got six different balls of scrunched up white paper and I'm going to get my brush. And I've got two pots of water here with me today and I've got different, some different colours. So I'm just going to hold one end, one kind of side. Now you don't have to paint it all, but I'm just going to do something like this. I've got some Baker Ross um, ready mix paint that I'm using today as well, which is quite quite good. I quite like Baker Ross. Uh, I'm just going to paint the sides. You don't have to paint all of it. And alternatively, if you do have any of those foam Easter eggs that I mentioned before, then again, you're more than welcome to use those instead of doing this technique it's really um really up to you so i'm just gonna keep applying that paint maybe if you want as well use some sort of uh, a cloth just to protect the table but i'm only using ready mix paint so it does wipe off nice and easy so okay i'm just gonna add some tints of orange to to it I'm just filling as many of those white gaps as I can. Now, once I have done, then what I'm going to do, very gently. Whoop, I mean, I say gently, that wasn't gentle at all. <laughs> um, it's just place the Easter egg, I'm going to call it. I'm just going to roll my sleeves up. Place the Easter egg inside the little box and I'll show you. So this is our first one. So we've got, the idea is we'll have six different colours and they'll look like Easter eggs or eggs hatching or some, something like that. So we're going to get our second uh, ball and I'm going to just go through all the colours. I'm going to start with a nice orange now. Now I haven't put that many colours on my palette and that much um, of each colour just because you don't want that much paint on it. You don't really need a lot of paint to cover the surface that we're working with. And we don't want any waste, any any waste with our materials because paints are quite expensive. 
So just bear that in mind. There we are. What might be easier as well is placing it nicely in the pot and then rotating and then getting some more paint on the side. So that could be another technique that you want to do as well if you don't want to get too messy then that is okay. And then we're going to start with our next one. So at the moment, if I just hold this one up, you can see I've got red and yellow and these colors are really striking you know the fact that you've used one solid color they, they do stand out really well and any cardboard um container or packaging could be quite useful to hold them in as well but if you do have the plastic or the foam easter egg um material that i mentioned on the materials list then again that is brilliant you can you know you're more than welcome to use that unfortunately i don't have any so i am recycling and making do with uh the materials that i've managed to find around the house and i think that's a really good thing to do as well just just working out rather than buying things what materials you can use as substitutes and what you know what you can recycle and make into new things that is a really good way uh, to think with these workshops because i always talk about recycling and different materials and using found materials in these workshops so it's a really great opportunity to experiment with uh, different things i think and i'm just trying to use up as much of my paints just covering as much of this white space and all this is is just scrunched up uh, white paper and it's got quite a nice effect to it i think I, quite, I do quite like it and then delicately just place into the pot and these are going to be at like our easter egg tray so this is a nice simple craft Remem remember to use some masking tape or some um shell tape just to seal those ends or maybe some white labels or something just something to keep the white paper together nicely and now I'm going to clean my brush because red, orange and yellow are all similar colours but now we're moving on to our blue we obviously want a nice clean brush or as clean as we can get it so I've got blue, green and I've got a mix of pink and purple that I'm going to go with um, for the final bit now I'm actually going to add some white to my palette as well because the blue that I've got is quite a darkish blue it's like a royal blue so i'm just mixing a bit of white and just to lighten lighten the tone and i'm creating more of a sky blue and i think that works quite well with the color theme that we've got i quite work, like working with different colors because they all kind of seem to represent the outdoors in some way as well which is again quite good quite a good theme to to be working with. There we are. So again, just cover as much of the white space as you can, just so all areas are covered. And then you can place that into the pot. And I'm getting very messy all of a sudden. <laughs> But that is okay and then i'm just gonna clean my brush a little bit and then work with this green again adding a bit of blue and a bit of white to my green now this is ready mixed paint that i'm working with as well so again quite a good material to use and to experiment with and also you haven't got to um add water or anything it's just you know it comes out of the, the tube or the bottle and then it is at the clues of the name ready to use so ready mix already done already done for you and you can get them in big bottles as well you know it's not too expensive and you can buy you know big packs of them i think i managed to get a 24 like class pack of baker ross paints with like a few multiple colors all for 19.99 so that is at the moment what i've been using for my craft sessions um 
and again yeah really a really nice ma material to to experiment with and it's quite good as well for community groups as well i know i know obviously these workshops are for members of uni kids and a few other people you know join in and if you are doing these at home then, then those kinds of paints could be really useful for you i think you know really helpful um at home and everything now i'm just going to rotate and move on to my second pot of water and then i've got my final ball and these colors are starting to look really really vibrant really striking um, and that is really what we what we want so i've just got a nice pastel kind of pink now you can also use white card as well if, if you do prefer but paper a4 paper is just a lot easier to work with so just bear, bear that in mind paper rather than card is just obviously a thinner material so it's just easier to work with and mold and and everything and then remember to secure it with some masking tape that is what you need to do so if I place my final Easter egg ball in there, I can just, sh I can hold it up and I'll show you the first craft. So the first craft was these Easter egg uh, balls in some recycled packaging. Now I hope, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed my take, uh, my new reinvention of materials and using, uh, making, you know, different crafts with them with recycled materials so what i'm going to say now before we move on to the next craft is go and wash your hands i'm going to do the same and then we'll come back in about two minutes and we're going to start on with the next one um keep messaging in the comment section let me know what you think and let me know what materials you've got for this next craft um remember, remember we're making the bunny cones so we want a lot of collage material we want some pens um, and maybe some ribbon and maybe some googly eyes. So I'm going to go wash my hands and then I'll see you in about two minutes. Well, that wasn't quite two minutes, but <laughs> just an excuse for me to, to wash my hands before we start using, you know, nice, you know, pristine white card. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this first little craft activity. They do really stand out, you know, really well, um, which is great. Now what I'm going to do is put my garden here. Um, if I move these over i can put them on something else and then you'll be able to um see our first craft that we've made oh hi francis hi um is it sarah sarah christian are you guys with us so if i move this back here oh brilliant thank you very much um i hope you're enjoying the craft so the first one that we've made um if you were in for it we've made uh, some Easter eggs using scrunched up white paper. We've painted them, we've used masking tape to hold them together, and then we've used recycled packaging to hold the Easter eggs. We've got like an Easter egg tray, and um, each ball is a different colour. It's a nice and simple uh, first craft, and I did suggest that you could either use um, foam Easter egg balls that you can buy if you like oh brilliant thank you very much i hope you enjoyed the the first thing then so we're gonna crack on with our second craft i think because we want the majority of the time to be focused on this um what we'll do because we're making bunny rabbit cones um you can also make some chick cones if you like once we kind of get into um the method of folding and everything but what i 
thing we're going to do first is make a garden so if you get some sort of lid um some sort of chocolate lid any packaging then that would be great and then i've got here some green paper and some green tissue paper a few different shades of that color and then i've also got a glue stick so we're just going to start first of all by um I'm losing what I'm saying. We're just going to start straight away by just um, adding the green paper to the packaging. So all you have to do to start off with is either collage the base of it or what you can do, you can follow me and get some green paper and then just scrunch it up. So it's nice and easy. Just scrunched up green paper and then it can just place in the box. So I'm just going to start by getting a few... Uh, kind of balls and everything of green paper and I'm just going to start scrunching them up so this is a nice relaxing intro for this next craft so just get loads of balls of green paper and the first thing is to make our bunny rabbit garden for our cones to sit into so again keep folding over Amanda, Faye, are you guys with us? Uh, I, did, I did send everyone the link, but I'm not too sure if, if you're in the craft today. I can see there's a few more people in, so if, if you wouldn't mind, then please, you know, message in the comments if you want. If you're just watching the, the, the activity, then that is okay, that's fine. Don't worry. So I'm just going to keep scrunching. And then we're going to get some glue, and we're just going to start by sticking them all kind of roughly in the box. Uh, just until we've covered it and the base obviously is, is, is fully green that's really what we want we want a green base and that is going to be the garden it doesn't matter if the material starts popping up it, that is okay you know we like 3d things in these workshops we do we do like some 3d work so i've got a mix of tissue paper too so i'm just going to start by gluing the bottom of the base and just adding in a mix of tissue paper, a mix of colour paper, just until the base is fully green. That's really what we want. Don't read too much about the sides. The sides are, um, are okay as they are, I think. You know, alternatively, you could think about other materials that you could use. You could, if you've got any leftover paints, you could paint the bottom of um the bottom of the base of the, the the box and also let me know what packaging you've decided to use you know this was only a last minute idea for me and um, just as a way to kind of hold hold the bunny rabbit cones hold the craft i just thought this morning oh we'll we'll start recycling and we'll use a box or a tray just to just to stand them up in and I've also got some ribbon, so I'm going to show you how to hang the bunny rabbit cones as well. So we'll make we'll make a few cones and then some of them can stand in our garden and some of them can be hung up. So again, there's two different options for the craft, which is exciting. And different things to do with it. So I'm just going to, this is working quite well, just glue in the bottom of the, the box, the, the lid or something. And then stick in that material down. And if you want, you can also make some shit cones. Um, once we start working, working on them. So just keep doing what I'm doing. Keep just gluing the base of the box. And then just keep sticking down that material. You know, keep crumpling it up because you want... I, I would say a 3D kind of garden, so if I hold mine up, something like that. But you can see I've got a lot of different materials going on here. So, again, the more materials, the, the better. And think about different shades of green that you can use, so different textures, you know, tissue paper, coloured paper, coloured card, different things like that. And again, just keep building, building it up. 
You could also use bubble wrap as well if you like. I do have some bubble wrap with me here, but I don't think I'm going to use that today. But if you if you prefer, you could use bubble wrap to to build your garden up to add a few more layers. But I always think about just adding plenty of material. So just tearing off lots of tissue paper and then kind of rolling it up. It does work really, really well. Um, Francis, Sarah, Christian, let me know how you guys are getting along. Um, I'm excited to see your garden as well, Christian, because I was really impressed by um, the Easter cards and decorations that you did before, but also the nature collage, the, the long nature collage, and I think you had on the table buttons um, and different materials. I was really impressed. It looked really, really good. So thank you again for joining in um, and supporting these workshops. And the same with you guys, um, Amanda, Faith. Thank you very much for being supportive and joining in and having a great experiment with different materials because that's really what these workshops are about, you know, just providing a space where we can come together, create, share artwork. And again, it's, it's a really fun thing to do, to be at home. And, you know, an hour I don't think is too long um, to be zoning in with some art, cra art and craft. Um, so I have actually, I'm just going to put my Easter eggs to the side a little bit. I'll, pu I'll pull them back just so you can see them in the shop though. <laughs> um, so I've finished my garden. So if I just oh, look it up here, I've got things like lime green paper. I've got some tissue paper, some coloured card, all different shades of green. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Right, I'm going to start by doing the bunnies now, actually. Um, I've just got... my little image on my phone just gonna get that off just so we know what we're doing right okay so you want to either some white card or some white paper that is really up to you and i'm just going to start by making one and then obviously we can make you know several of them but i'm just going to start by doing one of these it's handy if you have, just get some glue or some tissue paper or something. Or some masking tape, sorry, or some sellotape. So I'm just going to start by getting a few pieces. So you're wanting to create a cone shape, as simple as that, you want to create a cone shape. So just get the paper or the card landscape. And then just fold it in and as you fold it in it looks like a party hat so it looks something like that and then you should have a long side and a shortest side the smaller the cone the tighter the point you want it to be so if you want in a small cone keep folding it in i don't want mine that small actually i, I want mine fairly fairly big so I'm just going to do it something like this. And then what you're wanting to do is add some tape on the inside. So we're not wanting it on the outside because we want to show our design. We don't want masking tape in the way. So get some tape on the inside. So this is quite fiddly actually, so maybe get someone else to hold it for you if you like. But as you can see, I've got some tape on the inside of my cone. So I'm just rolling over that card and then just taping it inside. Maybe get some more tape if you need to as well. There we are. So I've added three strips of tape just on the inside. Yeah, so we've got the cone and then I'm going to get my glue stick and then the flap that should be left over, we're just going to cover that with glue and then we're going to roll it over here and then it should just glue nicely onto, onto the side. So I, ho I hope you're all following on with this. I hope it's all making sense. So 
we're just going to glue the flap down. And then you should have something like this, where you've got a long side and then this bit here. Now we're going to get our scissors, because we want in the bottom all one level, really. So we're just going to flatten it down a little bit like that and just push with your thumb on the left hand side and then get the scissors and just cut a nice long line try not to fold it just bend it slightly just so you can keep it level there we are and then you'll be left with some points at the side so just get the scissors again and just trim Trim the edges nicely on both sides. There we go. And then you should have something like this. Um, Francis, Sarah, Christine, are you guys following on with this? And then maybe just get your glue again just to make sure that flap is nicely stuck down on, on the paper or the white card. Right, the next stage one in the ears so i am going to cut two ears from some black card or some black paper and then some eyes and you can either use googly eyes or you can use some black card as well for the eyes so i am going to use black card i think for both so just get a cone like that and then i'm going to get my ears now make sure that the ears are the right kind of proportion for the, the bunny rabbit it's because i've made a fairly big um a big one i'm going to cut something like that for the ear and then to make them both the same size once you cut one hold the other one over the material that you're going to cut and then you can just trim round it and then you've got two two that are both the same size and I'll be as neat as you can with this, just so you don't get any rough edges and so that they're both the same size. So these will go either side of the bunny on here. The next stage is to cut two circles for the eyes from, white, uh, from black card or black paper. So again, the same method where we're cutting, cutting two circles, but then... For the second one we're going to trace and we're going to hold over our first one just so we've got the same size so maybe a little bit smaller so just work out the right size for the eye in relation to the the cone that you've made so maybe something like that and then hold over the circle onto the black card and then just trim around it just so you've got two eyes for your bunny rabbit try and be as <laughs> careful as you can with this one right so then we're going to get our glue stick again there's the glue just here um i hope you're all keeping up with this and enjoying the activity I'm just going to add some glue to the bottom and then add the ear on the back there and then the same with the other one just add some glue to the bottom of it and then just make sure that they're positioned at the right height as well so something Yeah, something, something like that. So this is what it should look like. And then we've got two circles for the eyes, which we're just going to put some glue on and then position kind of at the top, but just then leave a little bit of a gap. So something like this. 
Now for the cone you can either use black card, uh, some white card, sorry, or some white paper. And then we're going to get our pink paper or pink card and just cut out a little nose. And then apply the glue to the base of that. So just rub it gently across the top. And then we can add our nose. And then you want to get your black marker pen. If I can find mine <laughs> amongst all this. Um, so look, there we are. So you're wanting something like this if i show you what i've got so far something like that so you can see how i've done my um two lines there and as well if you prefer for the back of bunny cone you could just add some tape because the back you know you won't you won't see it and yeah i'll just secure ears nicely so something like this and then you want to get some white paper there's my white paper yeah something like this and then maybe cut two um strips Actually, no, we'll do four strips. We've got two on each side. Uh, we'll do four strips. All kind of similar length. So you want in four strips. And these are going to be the whiskers. Four strips of white card. So then you're just going to rub it gently across glue and then that's just going to place it at the side of the nose now you've got to be quite delicate with this one too so just place it gently you know one facing up or one facing down And then the same on the other side, one facing up a little bit, and then one facing down. And you can make as many of these cones as you want, uh, you can make different sizes if you prefer. So again, just experiment with, you know, the card and the paper that you can use. And you don't have to just make bunny cones, so what you could make any animal really that you want so i've got something like this and this is the one that i've done here and then what i can do is i can just put the bunny in his garden and then you've got something like this now we're going to make a few i think actually just to have a selection of different things so what we'll do is we'll just place the bunny here to start with and then what we can do is we can probably make another two to fit in if you like let's just push it down i'm just gonna turn it around a little bit so you can um see what i've done if i put it over here and you can see uh, if i move this what i've what i've done just there so we're going to start by making another one so get our material again get a few strips of masking tape now we're going to try and make some smaller ones this time so make the when we're folding it round let's just make it a little bit tighter now this is quite fiddly uh, Now 
not the easiest to do that, something like that actually. Uh, there, just pull it nice and tight. Yeah, that's, that's good. So pull the bit that crosses over nice and tight. Morning Stephanie, how are you doing? Are you okay? We're just making some Easter uh, bunny cones. We've made some Easter eggs already. Let's just get a few more strips of tape just for the inside of that. And then just apply the tape just inside that bunny cone. So again, nice and easy. And if you want, you could just, put, to be fair, put tape on the back because no one will really see the back of the design that we've done. So we've got something like this then. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I woke up quite early this morning. I was up at uh, quarter to seven. So again, it's fairly early. <laughs> so you want something like that. So just, again, push down a little bit <laughs> and just trim off the bottom. <laughs> You have a bit of pressure when you're cutting on like, those scissors. And then you've got something where you've got a bit of a point at the side, so just get the scissors. And then just trim. Across the bottom, just so you've got a nice flat base to create on. There we are. So, something... Something like that, and then it should stand up like this. Now what we'll do before we start decorating is we're just going to make a few of those, I think. Just so we've got them all ready. So I'm going to make another two more of the white card ones. And then I'm going to make two yellow ones for our Easter chicks. Yes, I am going live. I will be live next Friday. It's only t uh, this week that we're doing it at... Um, at, uh, on a Thursday, sorry, I don't know why I'm saying that, um, on a Thursday, um, just because I have uh, another commitment tomorrow, so I can't make tomorrow's session, so I just thought rather than, you know, I was not doing a, a workshop, I thought we'll do it today instead. And don't, don't forget, these workshops are available um, on Facebook, I, I record all the sessions, so you can watch from my YouTube channel. So again, if you can't make the live, then you haven't missed out. So don't think you have, because you haven't, you haven't missed out at all. If you've got any questions or anything, just message in the comment section. Thank you very much to Francis, uh, Sarah, Christine, you guys for joining. Um, I'm not too sure if we've got Amanda and Faye with us today. If we have, then Hello, thank you very much for joining. So again, the same stage where you've just rolled over that card, as you can see what I'm doing. And you've got something like this, you're going to push down a little bit, um, not too much, and then we're going to cut a lot. Oh, thank you very much for the photographs. I can see them popping up now. I'll have a look after the workshop. That's brilliant, thank you. Um, maybe, if that's okay, would you be able to get a few photos of Christy maybe holding up? Um, what is made that would be great so I'm just gonna like we did before trim the edges just so they're nice and level or as level as they can be and this is one of these crafts that you know you start to get into after a while and you you develop a bit of a system I think that's what I am doing now with my Easter cones. I'm just going to make a few and then we'll start decorating. So we've got two there. I'm going to make one more and then we'll start decorating our um, bunnies. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much, Francis. Thank you. Brill, uh, Sarah, Christian, thank you for joining in as well. We've got about 20 minutes or so left on the workshop. Um, but yeah, like I said before, this workshop today is instead of um next uh instead of tomorrow 
can't make a Zoom session next Wednesday. That's fine, don't worry, Stephanie. Um, the Zoom sessions on Wednesdays are different to these workshops and they run obviously on a Wednesday on Zoom at 11 o'clock and they're all to do with mark making, so it's part of a uni project. They're running until the 30th of June. Um, and again, they do get recorded. You can access them on YouTube. If you'd like to join, then you can purchase tickets on my Eventbrite link that I do share on Instagram, Facebook. So again, um, feel free. I feel like I'm promoting another one of my workshops here, but no, they are they are very separate. I do uh, the workshops for mark making, which is more about my a, a kind of uni project and a very much a mail out project, which is what you can see back here. All these pieces of works that people have sent to me in the post and then obviously these workshops on a friday are um for uni kids uh they're funded by uni kids and bbc children in need um so a great a really great opportunity to join in on facebook and create some art and each week we do different activities at the moment we're focusing on easter craft until the end of april and at the start of May, we have a new and exciting project coming up. Now, I'll I'll save that. I'm not going to reveal just yet, but um, it is a very exciting community project involving our theme of recycling. But we've got some video work, some photography work, and it's going to be a project that will spin over, will span over, sorry, over quite a few weeks as well. So each week we'll be doing something new and we'll be building up. And I'm going to give you a clue. We're making some sort of town and it's going to be a large scale work, but that is, that is the most I'm going to give to you for, for the time being. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on the ears. Oh, thank you very much for joining Stephanie. See you next Friday. I'll be next Friday, 10 o'clock on Facebook Live as usual. So because we've made smaller cones for this one, we want it in obviously smaller ears. So make sure you get that proportion um, right. So I'm going to cut six out because um, we've got three cones and we want two ears on each. So I'm just going to cut six um, ears out, all are fairly similar-ish size, she says. But, um, and then these can go in our um, bunny garden and then if you would like I can show you some uh, East chick cones and what I can do is just make one or two and we can thread some ribbon through so again as some sort of hanging um hanging craft like we did last week because i know quite a few of you enjoyed last week's workshop uh, especially with the hanging easter chicken bunny and the collage i know that you guys enjoyed it oh no worries thank you very much we're going to go now and see you next friday online yeah that's brilliant yeah next friday at 10 o'clock on facebook live i'll be sending the activity next week along with the link and it'll be the same link as this one um off to make jelly that's that sounds really good that sounds delicious save me some please <laughs> uh, right we're gonna just cut some tape we're gonna get the first cone and then we're just gonna get the ears on some sort of like angle and then tape down and then tape around so that is a nice and easy way to add on the ears All right, I'm just gonna... now you can either use masking tape or print stick um it's really up to you but i have opted to use um masking tape it seems like quite an easy material to use so we've got something like this so i'm just going to carry on just applying the ears for the bunny rabbit So make sure you kind of get the angle right for both of them as well. Uh, they 
it should overlap at the back so again something like this and then if we're going to go on to our final cone and just tape the ears on the back so something like that there we are and then we're wanting some circles so some eyes and we can use glue to stick these on that is okay so i tend to use just off cuts of material now you can use googly eyes if you want but i do quite like working with just cut papers uh, I think it's got a nice collagey kind of effect to it, which is great. So again, if you want to do the collage eyes, then cut one circle out, make sure it's the right kind of size for the cone that you're doing. Um, and then hold it over some black card and then cut round. It's just a nice, easy way to duplicate something nice. And you know, you can use this technique with any other art activity that you do, not just this one. If you want something identical uh, and you cut in multiple of them, then it is quite a handy technique to use. There we are, so I've got four eyes, so I want another two more. So again, I'm just going to cut one circle around with the scissors and then place it over some black card and then cut around again. And I'm just going to get my glue stick and roll. Oh, got lots of glue on there. Hold on the top and then just stick the eyes on here. So just make sure you get the, the right pair. Just keep sticking the eyes on. And then go on to the final one. Just rub the black card along with the glue stick and then just place on here. And now we're just going to cut the nose, so we're wanting three kind of semi-circle kind of things, but make sure you've kind of got a curved edge. And then you can rub it along the base of the glue stick and then just press on the bunny cone like that and then keep doing the same for the other two And then now we can add the mouth on. So just press down nicely and then get the sharpie pen and then draw a line from the nose 
and then something like this if I show you to the camera and do the same on the other two here so line down and then let's see if we're just building up a little um family of rabbits at the moment so something like that and then you're wanting six strips of card 